As a DIYer or woodworker, we often come across the decision of choosing the proper marking tool for the project. Follow along as we go through and find out which is the right choice of these type of mechanical pencils when you're doing your projects. You'll be surprised of the findings I've found, so let's get started. When we think about marking tools in the woodworking niche, we always seem to revert to the standard number two pencil. The number two pencil has been around forever. We all used it in grade school. We continue to use it. I still use it out here, but there's been many advances in marking tools. And today we're gonna go over some of the marking tools that are out on the market. The carpenter pencil, just like the number two pencil, has been around forever. It's durable, it won't break. The downfall, it's hard to sharpen sometimes. You're either gonna use a, a knife or they do make some sharpeners now, but they sometimes just don't work the best. What's cool about this is most of these have got a standard measurement of a half inch and standing up in this position is a quarter inch. So these can be used on the fly for quick measurements instead of having to pull your tape measure out. But when we're trying to do woodworking, this thing is real bulky, it's got it's real wide, it doesn't give us that fine line like we're looking for. But there's better tools on the market, and let's take a look at them. I carry this mechanical pencil around with me also is for layout tools such as this one. These were designed to use a mechanical style pencil to where the lead fits in these small holes so that you can do marks and you can get real precise measurements. That being said, it brings us to these four mechanical pencils that are more ergonomically designed to get into tighter positions and a lot more durable. They mark really good. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna make some simple lines, try them out, see which one of these four different brands here perform the best. Later on in the video, I'm gonna incorporate some color lead. This is called a thorn valve. Along in the package, you got a pack of six refills. Four of them were regular graphite lead and two were the color yellow. I found this pack and these are Nick Pro and you have one regular graphite, one red, one yellow. And they also come with a big value pack of refills. The next one that's on here is a Reach by Dixon. Except this one you don't push on the top to eject the lead. You're gonna squeeze down and push out till the lead comes out. And the last one on here is the Pick a Pencil. Pick a Pencil has been around and a lot of people do use this and it's very durable. Kind of being similar to this one and the Nick Pro. And the neat thing about all these mechanical pencils, they all have a sharpener included on the pencil itself somewhere. On the thorn valve, you unscrew the top and there's your sharpener. Same goes as the Nick Pro. The Reach has a sharpener up top, but this one's twist off and there. Pick a pencil has a sharpener located in the protective cover down here at the bottom. I will add one more thing to this. Even though these are all different brands of mechanical pencils, the lead size is the same and they all interchange. So why don't we just make a few marks and let's see which one of these is gonna make the better mark. I'm gonna start right to left and we're just gonna go ahead and make some marks. We're just gonna put one mark with the same pressure. There's the thorn valve. We're gonna pick up the Nick Pro. Try to space these out here. We're gonna do the reach. And we're gonna do the pick a pin. The thorn valve is the lightest. The Nick Pro was darker than the thorn valve. Then we get to the reach and it was a significantly darker than the other two previous ones. And then we get to the Pick a Pro, which I'm gonna say the Pick a Pro is slightly more than the Reach. So now let's try the colored ones on this light wood and let's see what we come up with. Now I will tell you this, that the Reach by Dixon only came with the graphite lead option. So what we're gonna do for this demonstration is we're gonna use the Thorn Valve, we're gonna use the Nick Pro and the Pick a. Let's start off with the Thorn Valve and we're gonna do the yellow. The yellow on this pine, you know, as probably anticipated, shows up kind of light. Let's try the Nick Pro right next to it. Same thing, the Nick Pro is just a tad bit darker and it's a little more uh, visible. Let's try the red by the Nick Pro. Now that one you can see on the pine, pretty impressive. 
and then we'll go with the pica. Now, the pica does mark, but remember, back at the beginning of the video, I said I found something that was pretty significant. What I found, the pica brand lid, with the heat that we're incurring down here in Texas, it gets very weak and it tends to just almost like melt. As to where the Nick Pro and the Thorvald do not do that, they're a harder material. Hence probably why you're seeing that this mark is a lot darker because this is actually real soft right now. The pick a color may not be a good choice for you because it's gonna get soft and it is going to break. This was one thing that I was very, very disappointed on this pencil. Let's move on and let's get a darker piece of wood and see how these turn out. We're just gonna start off in the same order that we did the previous test, but on a darker piece of material. So for the first mark here, we're going to do one mark with the Thorvald. We're gonna do the Nick Pro. Here's the Reach. Let's do the Pick a Pencil. Again, I think these are the two top, the Reach and the Pick a Pencil. I'm gonna put the Pick a Pencil on top. Let's move over to the colored mechanical pencil leads. So again, we'll start off with the Thorvald and it's got yellow in it. Now that's pretty vibrant on this Purple Heart. Let's try the Nick Pro. This is a little darker, but not as bright. The Thorvald is bright. This is a little more, I'm gonna say the Nick Pro's duller. It's still visible, but I think the Thorvald here takes it to the Nick Pro. Let's try the red on the Nick Pro and it kind of blends in to the purple heart. I'm still gonna rank this above the yellow of the Nick Pro, but below the Thorvald. And let's try the Pika. Now the Pika is brighter and very visible over the Nick Pro. Only thing is, is that if you can see, it broke and I'd hardly put any pressure. This Pika pencil lead in the color does not like the heat. Just take it and put it at the end of the line. And um, honestly, this really surprises me that this was $7.99, $6.99, and it beat a $20 pencil and it's leads. Now, when we go to the regular graphite lead, this outpaces all of them. So I think that Pika, in, in, in my climate down here, these colored will not work. In the winter, it's probably gonna be okay. It's probably gonna harden up and it'll be fine. But for it to break like that by barely even pushing it, that's just a no-go for me. And just so we can do a test, pushing it with the same amount of force, these don't break. They're pretty hard. They're not as bright, but they, they do the job. And right there, you can see it bending and I'm pushing it with the same amount of force and it's gonna break. So my final thoughts on this mechanical pencil test. When we're using the regular lead, the pick a pencil comes out on top. Highest price point out of all, but darkest line on dark wood and light wood. So if you didn't wanna go with color, this would work. Mind you, you need to keep in mind eyesight, lighting in the shop, and we can go on and on and on with this. If this isn't in the budget, these other ones will work. This is the second most expensive, so on and so forth, this being the cheapest. When we come to the colored lead on these mechanical pencils, I'm going to say that the Thorvald actually came out on top. It had a line that can be still be visibly seen with the yellow, and then we have the Nick Pro. There were still just a little bit below, but they still worked. And then the pick a pencil failed just because it broke. And, and it's because of the heat that it is down here. I, I'll probably have people disagree with me, but if you're up in the Northern climates, you probably don't run across that. You gotta make your decision. I only gave you a few. There's multiple style of these pencils out on the market. You may just wanna stick with the number two. So if you found this video useful, please give us a like. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this. If you've done your own test, let me know your outcome. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you get notified when I put out other videos on my channel. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Baby, baby.